Welcome to another IoT intro video. I'm your host Yulno and today we will actually look at the IoT Empower Gateway. So you might have seen already that there is a Raspberry Pi image to set up some infrastructure for using IoT Empower in class and doing IoT classes. Why is this important? Because it allows you to have your own Wi-Fi network always with you and do the same setup in several locations. And you see here the Raspberry Pi, you see here uh, a Wi-Fi stick, so sometimes we need uh, another Wi-Fi to actually get a Wi-Fi in, and uh, sometimes you need, uh, you need uh, Ethernet, and so you can actually, instead of the Wi-Fi stick, also plug directly into the wall. So if you always, if you have the chance to plug actually directly into the wall, then definitely do that. Uh, but if your university or where you use IoT Empower doesn't allow it, you might also listen to this solution here. Also, dependent on where you take the class, you might have this set up here. As you see, this is actually an uh, ESPA266 with a screen on there. So it's a Vemos D1 Mini and we have a screen plugged in and there's special software on it, which is called the IoT Empower dongle. So if you have an IoT Empower dongle, also make sure that you put this in. But the first thing, if you want to start a Raspberry Pi, is you need software for the Raspberry Pi, and you must put this software here on the SD card. And if you don't know how to do that, watch one of my other, music, my other videos. should probably show up here somewhere in the upper corner, so I hope we can make a link there to show you how to run Etcher and put IoT Empower on your Etcher card. So let's put this into the Pi. I know. Actually, we cannot. So first, put the Pi into the box, into the uh, case, because if you try it with the USB card, you might uh, with the SD card, you might break it off. And that would be not so nice. So make sure that this fits here in these these little red things there that they go in there. Yeah, that looks kind of good. And then we can also close it. Yeah. This is the official case. Your case might be a little bit different, but if you have the official case for the Raspberry Pi, it looks like this. So then you put the SD card in there. So the, you see the writing here. No, see, and that was wrong. So you must make sure that it really goes into the slot. And so it still sticks out here a little bit. This is why it's important that you then put the card in after you assemble the case. So now we have a Raspberry Pi case and if you give it power, you really need to make sure to use a good power supply, for example, the Raspberry Pi uh, power supply. Don't plug it in somehow from your computer. Your computer will not deliver enough power for doing this. So best use the default Raspberry Pi power supply. So we need to get this actually somewhere into power. So. If you have an IoT Empower dongle, plug it in and then let's power it up. And there we go. So this is booting up. So if you have an IoT Empower, uh, IoT Empower dongle, you will see actually that it shows IoT dongle. If not, we can do it without. But let's assume we have it and we haven't configured anything else. We just have a raw IoT uh, Empower here on here. So we wait couple of seconds until this is boot up and while this happens we check our Wi-Fi network and something with IoT Empower should show up here after a short time but we can also look here at the dongle so if you look at the dongle it still says it's booting up so it's nothing connected so it can take a minute to for the first start there we go. So after a while, you will see some kind of IoT Empire with some kind of random numbers showing up. And if you look here on the, on the Raspberry Pi, you also see that. So why is this important if you do it alone? It's not very important if you do it alone in a small network, but if you have a class with lots of students who set this up, it really cuts down on confusion if the students can actually read uh, what the network is that they have. And let's look at our networks. And you see there is an IoT Empower network showing up here. So IoT Empire network showing up. You know, IoT Empower is part of the IoT Empire. So, And the default password is IoT Empire. 
if you haven't configured anything yourself. So see, I attend from Empire. I will connect to it and now we are connected. We open SSH when you have some kind of form of SSH on your computer and you can then connect to it. If you don't like the command line, just ignore this part here. So we can do SSH IoT gateway as the user IoT. And the password is IoT Empire. And now we are actually logged in here to the uh, diet pi configuration of IoT Empower. So this is successful, we are in there. So what if you don't have a dongle, if we can't figure it out? So I will just type in a sudo power off here to make a clean shutdown. It's also always nice if you can clean shutdown and show you the process from the point where you have uh, no dongle. So let's remove the dongle. Let's unpower the Pi. And let's take the SD card. And you can put the SD card in your computer. And there are two partitions. In Windows, it will automatically mount the first one. On Mac and Linux, you have to pick the first one, the small one here, the 128 gigabyte one, manually. And you see lots of files in here. So one of the file is Wi-Fi in and one is Wi-Fi TXT. So if we pick Wi-Fi TXT, there you can define your default um, Wi-Fi name. So you see this is empty now. We have to remove this pound sign here and then we can call it uh, like IOMT Empower My Own and the password is IOT Rocks. So we need to have at least X, uh, eight characters. So, and now if we start it on, uh, start it again, it will show this Wi-Fi network. If you are connected via the Ethernet, this is all you need to do. If you now have to actually consume the local Wi-Fi network, you have to configure another file in here. And this is the Wi-Fi in file. So if there's an EduRoam network, you put in here EduRoam, you put in here the password, uh, the user password, and here you put the, uh, the test user at your business network, could be kind of the university dot edu after this. If you don't have a business network, just want to connect to your home network, you just need to fill in the first two lines here. Okay, then you save this and we need then to boot up with the password in there. So after putting the credentials on the SD card um, and also the Wi-Fi credentials, we can then put it back into the Pi. So let's uh, take the SD card and slide it back into the right slot on the Pi. Make sure it's really in there. It doesn't slip totally into the pie. And then plug this in. I don't know. I think it should work in both, but I, you get a little bit more power on the blue ports. So I would actually say plug it in one of the blue ports. And we now say, okay, we don't have a dongle here. So you can plug it in if you have one, but we will show a case without. And then you power it up. And then your own network should show up after a while on screen. Okay. We have waited patiently and there it is, IoT Empower, my own. And so the password we set was IoT Rocks. So again, that works even if we just have Ethernet uh, coming in here, but I wanted to show you the case that you use a Wi-Fi stick. So connect. Let's hope this works. So the easiest should be just trying a ping. Ping is a command to which just wants to get some uh, response uh, from a server in the internet. And see, now we have actually internet on this Wi-Fi that is hosted by this. So now we can connect all our devices and our laptops to this device. So we can carry our uh, device around. And if you go home to connect to a different Wi-Fi, you just have to connect, uh, uh, reconfigure this uh, Wi-Fi in txt file or if you have ethernet you don't have to reconfigure anything and can just plug in the device. One nice feature I want to still show you is uh, if you use a browser and go to website gateway.iotempire.com 
dot uh, net. Now, when you are inside the network and logged in, then um, you might get a certificate pro problem, or if the certificate is renewed, you will actually be able to just uh, get in. But uh, it's not easy to always guarantee that the right certificate is on the Pi, but at one, in another class, I will actually show you how to get the right certificate on there. So for this case, the moment we will just uh, accept this unsafe page, and there you see this is the local web page that actually runs on here. So the certificate is expired. That's why we had this little thing. So if you can see that, then you know that your device works. And you can use a full internet. So if we go to uno.net, and you see that works actually too. Yeah, so now you have your IoT Empire or IoT Empower working. And we can take it from there. And you have your own network and can do everything that is network related here on your own table uh, in the IoT class. Looking forward to see you the next time. Leave some comments below and stay tuned. Until soon in the IoT Empire. Ciao.